Look at that fucking Art Deco shirt you got on. You Duh, are you in your deco? fat phase where you just wear like like bowling t-shirts? That is I'm so mean. Not that is not there. a bowling Channing, t-shirt. Channing. Channing. Listen, this is the rules. This is the rules. And I've lived by this. If your belly is out farther than your boobs, we got to work out. I just got to do upper body. Isn't that a dicky do? What's a dicky do? Your dick stands out farther than your. That's a booty do. When the your booty belly do. hangs lower than your dicky do. No, see, we call it a booty do. When your stomach, when your stomach sticks your out stomach? further than stomach sticks out further than your booty do. Is this where I came back to? Is this where I came back. We to? literally just did a forty minute. There was twenty four seconds left on your game, and we started recording, waiting for you. We were yeah. like, Channing is in that gymnasium calling this game, yeah. and we were waiting for him. It was a uh, hi. How did the game go? That's an outstanding dress. We can talk so much to people here. I would say second game was pretty interesting. I like the Suns. You know, we were looking at, like, who the Suns have. We have some good, solid players. I like seeing so many U of A guys as coaches. Well, where's Brett Bill Meyer at? Orlando, right? Is he Orlando? Yep, Orlando. Is so, he? Miles Simon is now on the staff at the Suns. Is he? Yep. Yeah, Frank took him. And Kevin. Oh, is, yeah, yeah, because Frank, he was with Frank in L.A. Kevin, who was a manager, is now, the like, one of the lead assistants. Okay. We talked to Frank Vogel. You know, how you, how you doing, big guy? You you seem like you still you you've been you were you were wound tight. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard at the end of that game. It was just like Taco was playing, and you're like doing this, and so I'm like trying to decompress to talk how I want to talk, and not mm-hmm. like TV talk. Yeah. Okay. But first of all, first of all, because you guys know I'm crazy. You're welcome, road tripping listeners, especially you motherfuckers that have been listening to us since the beginning. Like, do you know? The the do you know the 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 presence that you guys have the pleasure of listening to? Allie is calling Sparks games. I call games for the Yes Network for ESPN. Channing's calling games. You guys are so blessed to have the funniest <laughs> basketball knowledge motherfuckers on the pl- And you guys have been here from the beginning since we had no jobs. Oh this was our job. Uh, Allie was doing sideline for the Cavs. Me and Channing was doing nothing. Uh, so I was annoying him to come on road tripping and winning championships. And then I was doing things with our guy, Fred McLeod. Love him. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. So now you guys have followed us on this journey. We're a bunch of three bad motherfuckers. And we still doing this podcast because we love y'all. Speaking of sparks, the WNBA. Oh, look at the beautiful baby. Look at the beautiful baby. What? Richard's ADD oh. is on fire. It's on fire right now. It's on fire. I'm struggling, bro. I was drinking too much. I'm Look, look. When now? Um, America, can I be honest with y'all? Oh, oh my god. god. I drank a lot <laughs> last night and I had the greatest fucking role in the history of craps at the win. We were talking about that. It might have made the least amount of money on the greatest role. I was going to say it. I got all those chips. I, I told told Luke, hello up. I told Luke, Luke was like, "Man, that was a hell of a role." He just sent me a text like, "Hey, that was a hell of a role last night." I was like, "You just we? sent that like right now?" No, like 2 or hours like, ago. He was like, I was like, today. "Should we do it again?" Oh my god. Yes. Um, <laughs> speaking of uh, the LA Sparks, we are in Las Vegas, and did you have you guys paid attention to the freaking Las Vegas Aces? They're fucking whooping people's ass. Sixteen and two, whooping them. Whooping ass. Sixteen and two. Kelsey Plum retweeted the announcement that you had today. She reposted it on her Instagram. Was it my announcement said, or was it from the NBA? It was from the NBA. That what? Sorry. Kelsey, I love you. That About oh. the in-season tournament, she's like, so Plum we were dog. the guinea pigs. Yeah. She Kelsey, said what? Kelsey wants to come on the podcast. I talked to her before. Stop as it. Yeah. Hey, as okay, a, let okay, me, yeah. let me hold on, really hold on. Let me go Here's first. Let me pitch. go first. Let me go first. Please. Candace, the best of the best. Yeah, love Candace. Love Candace. Yep. Uh, Kelsey Plum literally is my online basketball crush. Not in a sense of her. I think she's married. Yeah, All she, good. I'm married. She's got whatever. married. That's but a true I'm saying boy. like, thank you. I am saying her attitude Oh, it's like, I want to follow all your stuff. Like, you're the coolest fucking person. Like, how, her attitude after she won with the music. <laughs> the and cigar. Everywhere, and cigar everywhere. Yeah. Like, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm we're, like, we're, dude, we're, we're united that. in that front. I love me some Kelsey. Don Staley. Love me some Don Staley. If Don I'm Staley's about, great. If I'm talking about female athletes, Don Staley, Kelsey Plum. Oh, Candace M- Parker. Candace yeah. Parker. Megan Sue. Rapino, Sue Bird. The the power couple, like Su- Megan, Suzanne, I love you. congratulations is literally on your last World Cup. 
I was at Japan. I plan on being at your final World Cup game. You're never going to hear this. But when you follow hey, me, listen. when you follow me, Megan, I screenshotted it and I sent it to like 10 friends. You're obsessed. Hey, That's amazing. Yes, As you I'm should obsessed. be. Can I give you an awkward moment, though, that I had with Kelsey Plum? I was getting ready to call this, the Aces Sparks game earlier this year. And she was stretching on the scores table right in front of me. And I'm just preparing. And I look up and I'm just like staring at her. And I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this to you, but like, I think you're the coolest fucking human ever. She was like, you can. You can tell me that and you can say it on the broadcast too. And I was like, oh my God, you're amazing. We want you on Road Trippers. Yeah, okay. Kels. Um, hungry Road Trippers? Now that we're in the thick of summer, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals to support sunny, active days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, you'll eat well, and stay on track reaching all of your goals. For our first meal kits, Richard Channing and myself all selected Factor's Calorie Smart portion meals that average about 550 calories per serving. We're all as busy as ever, and it's nice to know we can prepare a delicious and nutritious ready to eat meal in less than two minutes. Plus, I needed an extra boost to support my wellness goals this summer, so I opted to try the Protein Plus meals. This added 30 grams of protein or more per serving in the meals. They're so delicious. So what are you waiting for, road trippers? Head to factormeals.com slash roadtrippin50 and use our code roadtrippin50 to get 50% off. That's code roadtrippin50 at factor.com slash roadtrippin50 to get 50% off today. Hey, road trippers, Channing and I love our dogs and we want them to have the best food and nutrition available. That's why we feed our pups food from the farmer's dog. Whether you have a young puppy or a senior who's seen multiple decades, any dog person like me knows the most valuable thing in the world is spending time with your pet. The Farmer's Dog helps to keep them healthy, which can give you more quality years with them. The Farmer's Dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's recommended by vets, nutritionally balanced and made from human-grade ingredients. Safe, clean, in safe and clean kitchens. It's the best option for dogs at all stages of life because it's not kibble, it's not canned goo, it's real food. The Farmer's Dog isn't just higher quality food, they also send food pre-portioned specifically for your dog based on their unique nutritional needs. It doesn't matter if your dog is young or old, it's always the right time to begin investing in their health, helping you both live more healthy, happy, and full years together. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash roadtrippin'. Plus, you'll get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash roadtrippin' to get 50% off your first box of food. That's thefarmersdog.com slash roadtrippin'. Calling all road trippers. We all know the problem with fads. They come and go. So when it comes to weight management plans, you need a long-term solution, and that's Noom. For some people, eating is an emotional experience. So when it comes to managing your weight, it makes sense that Noom has taken a psychology-based approach. This helps you to better build habits and behaviors that are easier to maintain. Using both science and personalization, Noom helps you manage your weight for the long-term. The best part is you decide how Noom fits into your life, not the other way around. Based on a sample of almost 5,000 Noomers, 98% said Noom helped to change their habits and behaviors for good. Noom's personalized courses are easy to follow and will help grow your confidence with tools you can put into practice on day one. The bottom line is, road trippers, Noom's changing how the world thinks about weight loss. So sign up for your free trial today at Noom.com. Again, go to noom.com and sign up for your free trial today. Rex, can you please tell me um, what you think of Richard Jefferson? <laughs> I got a Rex story. <laughs> I just remember young Richard from Moon Valley. Dunk, <laughs> I was going to ask about yeah. that. Oh my God, that's he'd amazing. Been, he'd have been in high, high school. Yeah. High school yeah. 16, when 17. You guys were playing. Nine, uh, 95, 6 yeah. ish. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my favorite rec story is you were talking to J Kid one Are time. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. You were talking to J Kid. We were uh I was like in my second or third year. Okay. I, I don't know what, what what did you have a playoff record for threes for a minute? I think it was like 20 years. <laughs> 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 Wait, who broke that? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no I'm glad I remembered. My memory is great. My memory is great. My I memory think, is great. You're yeah. like, I think what was the record? It was nine. Nine, nine. Yeah. Right. And so we were sitting, we were sitting there and like, you were talking to Jay kid and I was probably like, I, I think Vince was on our team. Yeah. Yeah. And we were like cracking jokes or something. You were cracking a joke with Vince and you were like, oh, we were talking about your record and you, and you were like, and, and Jay kid was like, man, I don't know. Vince, Vince might break it or just cracking jokes. 
And I was like, wait, Vince. And he was like, Richard, you don't shoot enough to break. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought yes. to myself, I was like, there's no, I don't even, there's no you way don't. I'm going to, there's no way I'm going to shoot no. nine threes, let alone oh. fucking make no, nine threes. That's right. I'd have a four for four game and be like, and yeah, be percentage done. up. Yeah. Percentage up, at I'm good. 0, at 0 for 9 at halftime, I'm like, I can even at this up in no time. I don't even know if I'm uh, hot yet. I might be on fire right <laughs> yeah. now. Still, oh, for my, nine is hot. Still, still one of the greatest, one of the greatest plays in basketball history one of the greatest as a Phoenician. No, no, as, no 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 but i'm saying when you think about it because that play has been used how many times have you seen that play so if people yeah. aren't familiar we're gonna our people will edit this there's the skip pass hey, the flip, heavenly pass a heavenly yeah. pass from sent from the god nectar yeah. from the god and it really only works because i'm back picking kj who's first option first option and they gotta switch it and then you have that beautiful elevation yeah. just the picture of the uh, phoenician chains of phoenician so Rex is a god to us. But uh, just I'm just saying, like, it was so cool to see that. So like when I, like I grew up watching you. So when crazy. I hear you cracking that joke and I'm like, yeah, you're not lying, Rex. <laughs> I just out of nowhere, I don't even know Rex. He's talking uh, to Jay Kidd. I'm sitting there like, holy shit, that's Rex Chapman. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, Vince. He's like, Richard, you're not gonna shoot enough. And I was like, okay, well, I guess he knows my game. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. for real, that that sort of interaction at that point in time. I had played with Jay for four or five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so right away, his friendship with you guys, mm -hmm. that lent credibility. Tons. And so right away, I, you know, Kenyon was another one. Yeah. By the time I was with Kenyon in Denver, mm -hmm. bringing Kenyon from, as an executive, bringing Kenyon from Jersey to, to Denver, mm -hmm. it was Fuck like- Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyon and I had a relationship yeah. just due to Jay Kidd and you guys and all of that stuff. Well, Jay Kidd was one thing I also was a fan because I grew yeah. up watching yeah. you. Like, this is one thing about like '95. They went to the finals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so it's like I'm 15 years old in the Phoenix. I'm like yeah. I'm learning yeah. basketball, right. I'm figuring it out. So '94, '95, I'm 14, and you're 15 what? years old, 12, 12. 12. 12. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you become like the Phoenix Suns oh, were yeah. gods in Arizona. Yeah. They still true. are. They're the number one team in uh, Arizona. But there was no real football or baseball there was, at the time. There wasn't even right? a baseball team. There wasn't. A baseball there team. wasn't. The Cardinals no, were God they were awful. They, were, they yeah. shouldn't even have been. They were like an expansion team. Yeah. Well, they so, were from St. Louis because they came over from St. Louis. But I'm just right, saying, right. You, so you're like, the fact that Jay, not, Jay Kidd didn't validate you, but I was like, right. when I got to know you and right, talk right, to you and right. see you kind of let your guard down uh, and just crack jokes. But like, I was just, just such a huge fan as a kid growing oh, up watching y'all. My guy. Did you ever see him play? Oh, God. He never got the ball. It, the Fontenet, <laughs> Fontenet twins. Boy. The Fontenet oh, boys fucking shot the ball He never every time. got the ball. He had two twins that played on his team, that played on Channing's team that were both about 5'9", and they shot the ball every, every time. Single every time. single time. Yeah. Yeah. In high school. And he he was still a McDonald's All-American. No, right? no, no, no. He Martin, wasn't that I good. was an alternate. He was, he, he, yeah. But I was Gatorade Player of the Year. He was. Yeah, that, yeah. But me, me Luke, and Jason Gardner, we drove down from Tucson and Gilbert, to watch, and Gilbert to watch him play in a state championship game. That's and then, crazy. like five years later, all of us were flying to New York to watch him get drafted. Or they just wanted to party on my bill. Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent, bitch. <laughs> Did I? We told this story already, though. Ah, new listeners. All new listeners. Yeah, I was about to say. This so, like, I, you know, during the draft, Richard's like, "Yo, Channing, you're coming out the night before the draft." I have 20, 30 of my people, and I'm from New York. Well, like my family's from New York, so I got twenty or thirty of my boy, college boys, high school dudes. Now, like. Hey, you guys, plus Richard, all them. So Richard's like, yo, meet us out. He's like, uh, we're going to go here. I was like, yo, I'm rolling deep. He said, say less. <laughs> you are go. Oh, no, Jay, Jay, tell the people. Tell the people. Now, I wasn't Derek Jeter, but I was locked Nobody in. Nobody is Derek Jeter. Oh, but no, I wasn't Derek Jeter. Richard was. Out. I was Channing. I, I'm, listen, I'm going to give you a the compliment. Biggest. First time in eight years. <laughs> tell the people. Richard. Richard, lack of a better term, ran that demographic of mm -hmm. New York. I remember. Everywhere that was hot, Richard was like, oh, Richard, yeah, come on in. Richard, boom, 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 this, that. Uh -huh. Richard had parties all the time at his house. Like, mm -hmm. Richard was hooping, and then, like, he was burning a candle on both ends. Hooping. And then, but, like, it was wild. Gym. I was like, who the hell are you? Y'all hype it up. You go to the finals a couple times on the back of J-Kid, and now <laughs> you're, like, fucking cool. But uh, so, night before, I eat family. I eat my family. They're like, oh, what are you so excited about? I was like, yeah, guys, I, I got to go to this party. So like half the table gets up. We go to the party. It's Richard, Luke, Gil, 
some of the Nets, some of the Knicks, my people. So it's a, like a whole club. Even David Lee's punk ass <laughs> came out there. Uh, and so we were like, damn, this is great. And I don't know how cards work. And I go, Channing, just give me your card. Yeah, he goes, Channing, give me your card. <laughs> oh. Oh, Rex, it's better, Rex. It's no, it gets better. better. It what gets do you better. mean you don't know how cards <laughs> work? Because he's 19, he's 21, he's in college. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, college, I don't, like a card, I'm just like, yeah. yo, tell me how much I owe you, and I'll come back <laughs> the next day. You're lying. What? Nah. It wasn't a club. This was a nightclub this with is bottle I don't service. remember this part of the story. So I don't know how any of that works. They're like, yo, Che, let Back me get your like card. This. And I was like, for what? They were like, ah, oh, just to hold the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... Uh, okay. Now, I also know that I'm the security blanket. Like, right. I've been in yeah, the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. And right. so, this is what happened. So, Channing, I think we had, <laughs> did we have two nights? Did we go out two nights? Two nights. So, the first night, I know all the people, like the clubs, and I'm like, and him and David Lee get drafted. I, I coached that David was the Lee. Second night, right. After, second, yeah. But I coached David Lee at Nike Camp. So, I was like, oh shit. I'm like, David, man, come on, come with us, man. This is family. Yeah. Like, you with Channing? Like all of, all of our Arizona boys came because I had an apartment, so everyone was staying in my crib. We were just all there. We were just looking for an excuse yeah, to party. Or, yeah, basically. So Channing, I go, Channing, give me your card. It's just, oh, it's just to put it, it down. I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> so they swipe it. They swipe it. He's getting crushed, right? And, and this is kind of like a rookie hazing yeah. because Channing, Channing, tell us. Do, do you know how much that bill was? I, so I, no, I, what? It was like ten, 10 grand, grand, five I was grand. Say no, 10, it was not. No, it was not. What was it? It was like thirty six thousand dollars. Oh my we, god! Ten grand, Rex. Yes, this is what you're supposed to do grand, to your boy, Rex. Ten grand is two tables. Ten grand. We ten had grand seven you do to your boy. tables. Thirty six. Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> the, I, the the NBA money hadn't even got into the right. the ozone right. yet, and Man, we're in New York. And, and my you're phone the... is blowing up. Who's charging this? <laughs> charging okay, Bob. So like my shit is still college shit. And oh I don't even have God. an NBA check yet. It was not dog. So I knew this boy was this sick. was my plan. This was my plan. Once we tapped out <laughs> his credit card, I was gonna take care of the rest. But Channing, don't let fucking Channing fool you. So Luke, so Luke got drafted your sophomore year. Yeah. I got, I never met I like I was never at Arizona. So I left the the year that Channing. So Tran Channing was like our brother, but right. like he drank with us for three years <laughs> <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> oh, everywhere. I'm drunk. Thirty-six thousand dollars. Yeah, damn right he did. No, you way. were no no no. But we weren't we would go to the <laughs> club early because they didn't have bouncers. We would go when I was like twenty, uh -huh. right? I would go early. Illegal, uh, by the way. Uh, yeah, you're too a late fucking now. I'm criminal. 40. Yeah, now I'm a criminal. Uh -huh. Criminal me. And then we would sit at a back table and you know, they have the ladies get in free thing. So there was like, we had some girls with us. We were like, yo, go get all the seven and sevens or whatever special they have. And we'd fill up the table and slowly sip on those. So a whole table of drinks was like $24. We would go to uh, what's the Mexican joint where they had 50 cent, like high school nachos and 50 cent Corona in Arizona. Yeah. Ch uh, Dos Gringos. Yeah, those Gringos. Those Gringos. <laughs> hey, we were we had a table my of youngest, beers. My youngest just graduated from U of A, so Bear now I I oh, Bear, get, get how it. fun that experience. Uh, that's why we're all. Have been. So so the let Twitch, me let me tell you what. You're Luke, still the JV Wildcats. Yeah, here we are. Watch out. Not first of all. First, remember when we beat y'all for our one national championship? The oh, dude, the real I, just, Wildcats. I just left Miles Simon over at the. Uh, gym. <laughs> I saw Tony Delk yeah, eight I'm seconds fucking ago. Fucking mad at him still. <laughs> still. Okay, let me tell you a story about Luke in the similar. So I get drafted by the Nets, and my it was so funny. My rookie year. So Papa Wheats, Luke, Tim. All these, all my brothers come out, mm -hmm. but they're coming. They're like, you know, hey, we're gonna come out to New York. Cool, you gotta stay with me. So, you know, Luke, you know, he's all right. You got, you know, he's in college, he's a junior. So, um, we're at the bar, this place called Veruca, and Luke was like, hey, 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 listen, I got the first round. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> right, so I get real quiet. I'm like, all right, he don't know, right? He don't know. <laughs> so he goes, he goes to the bartender. He goes to the bartender. What I want He goes to the bartender. He's like, "Hey, let me get uh, three Jack and Cokes, two whiskey sodas, vodka soda, and let me get six shots of whatever." Oh, that's three hundred dollars. Damn right, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> the guy in, in Tucson, 
That's, that's like sixty eight dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. no, I, that's so, a kiss on the so, lips. So, so, I'll so see you I, next so, time. So it's the same thing. I was fucking with the same way we fuck with Channing. So Luke was in college. So the oh. person, so Luke gives him, his, and and the lady goes three hundred dollars, and Luke goes three hundred fucking what? <laughs> So, so like oh. I'm sitting back, I'm sitting back laughing, right? Like, cause Luke, Luke don't know, he doesn't understand New York City. He's like, dude, New York City is the most expensive fucking drink city in the fucking yeah. world. Oh, so no Luke, doubt. so he goes, he goes, three hundred fucking what? And I'm sitting back there giggling, just watching this whole interaction. And then finally, like Luke grabs his drinks. He's like, I right, motherfucker, you got the rest. <laughs> <laughs> It was the oh, great because that's the that's the difference between the league. That's yeah. the difference between New York City. That's yeah. the difference between Tucson. And if you don't fucking know, that that's why he was like, "Oh no, Rich, I got the no, first I got round. I, I got, got first round." Okay, and I'm like, "Bitch, your dad's a millionaire. Yeah, go ahead and fucking take the first round, right?" It, I mean, <laughs> crushed, crushed. He didn't Bill's buy another millionaire drink. is a different type of. He spends but, his money on orthopedic chairs, bikes, and teepees. Yes. But but yeah. this was, this is the thing though. <laughs> this is the thing. Like, cause Luke was Luke is the mo- you guys all uh, know yeah, Luke, Luke Luke is the Luke doesn't care about anything. So I remember before his senior year, Bill gave him a credit card of like, hey, like if you know, I don't want yeah. you to stress. You didn't go to the NBA. If there's like, if you need a pair of shoes, if you need them, some like here, right? Because I don't I I, I want Luke you to wear fo- rainbows all year long. Yeah, like. I want you to focus on basketball as a, as a good father, like should, and not every father has those means, but it's the same way. If you decide to stay for your senior year and not go be a first round pick, I don't want you stressing about food. I want, I want you focused. So he gave him a little credit card. That's when Luke came, Luke put that shit, 300 fucking what? (laughs) Right? Like dope, $300 in college. That's the month. Not anymore. Not not anymore. anymore. But I'm saying like drinks, like you get two for one, you call it, you get fucking a little of this, a little of this. How much? Are you making coming out this year in IL? Oh, How much are oh. you making? And I'm oh. an Arizona kid. I'm oh. a Kentucky guy. I mean, oh. What are we, what the are amount we talking of, about? The amount of like dunking that I was doing? Oh, yeah. A million. Uh, dude just played at Kentucky last year. Uh, Shibwe. Yeah. Two million. 100%. And he's a Kentucky dude. But you know what that does? It makes sure that the homegrown talent, U of A just got a defensive back mm-hmm. <laughs> bro i think he's from u of a he was supposed to go somewhere else and they were like oh yeah nope stay yeah. right uh, and then but at the end of the day that's that's only sustainable to a certain level because alabama and mississippi and right. texas right. they can all pay more yep. i know but it, it's you're gonna play and if you're good you're good and then number two if they have money for homegrown kids you're keeping your kids at home and the businesses are going to excel also because that kid is going to be doing work for that business, for that yes. small business. We had to hustle, Rex. We I had to hustle. Man. We had to hustle. Right, let me ask this, though. Okay, so I think back about it. And for, fortunately, we all, well, Channing, did you go in right away and play a bunch? No. Okay. He's trash. All right, He's so, shit. but yes. you did. Uh, yeah, so let's talk to the pros. I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did too. Anyway, uh, I don't even know what I was saying. What was it? <laughs> Channing is Forget some it. shit. That's what Channing you're saying. Rich, I ended up starting. No, I know. 90% of my career. Oh, no. But if you, if you go in and you make, let's say, a million dollars in IL, and you're sitting on the bench as a freshman, I mean, if you don't have the work ethic, I mean, yeah. what – what do you do? I mean, it, it's, it's, you still have the incentive to go be great. We're still new in this space. Yeah. We're still new in this space. And like, you're right. Cause you got to look at like, Hey, look, this NIL money is only going to last for right. my time right. that I'm here. None of those kids are saving their money. You're taking care of your parents. You're taking care of this stuff. You're spending the money. My How biggest thing fast is, is the money coming. It's probably not coming that fast. It's 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 it's, it's yeah. the wild wild yeah. west. That's yeah. the only yeah. the Cavender twins on fucking TikTok right. in right. Miami. They're good players, be, like beautiful girls, but they're fucking making millions of dollars. Millions. Crazy. That's a different situation yeah. than a kid from yes. fucking Jackson, Mississippi, getting fifty who, grand. Getting to, fifty yeah. grand. That's, it, it's 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 just too many spectrums right. to really, it's going to take us five, 10 years before we fully understand the proper system right now. Like they're talking about Archie Manning. He's worth $10 million oh, and he's getting that. Yeah, and you're you like, know, yeah, like that, that kid, fucker needs money. The quarterback from Tennessee. Oh yeah. 8 million. But I will say this football is v- vastly different than basketball, Agreed. especially at the quarterback or wide receiver position. Yeah. A good quarterback. You can charge Instead of hundred dollars a ticket, one hundred and fifty. You get a good quarterback. You get yeah. a wide receiver. O line right, wants right, to come right. there. It's not like basketball. If you get a good point guard, yep. 
He may be a scoring point guard, and now nobody else wants to come. Football is a skill position game where, like, that is equating to money. Tennessee is going to get better, more time on TV, Mm -hmm. better recruiting. So, like, that quarterback who may not go, "Eh, I don't want to go to Tennessee. You're like, yes, you do. do. At the end of the day, sports is sports. Like, oh, it's it's cutthroat right now. So I was watching the the World Series, the World Series championship. Uh, Shout out our girl uh, Ramona Shelburne. So she played uh, softball at Stanford, but she was she's the same age as as like me. So she played against. Jenny Finch, yeah, yeah. Tony Mascarinas, all these great girls from from uh, Arizona. So she's like, yo, there's this pitcher at Stanford who's a freshman, and she's a stud, stud. And the Oklahoma boosters, because the, mm. the, the World Series for softball is in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is one of the best. Oklahoma boosters are sitting next to her parents like, we can get you 100K, 150K, 200K. You want to come here? But she's, she's, a she's, a stud at, she's a stud at Stanford. And the boosters at, at Oklahoma, Oklahoma are like, come transfer here. Damn. This is what you, we will give you. This is about, a, this this is is a for topic that problem. deserves so much more time, yeah, but we are out of time, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Rex, will you come back on with us sometime? Sure. Well, Rex, Rex yeah. has been trying, to, come, trying to get me on as long as, as you're family. sharing the drinks next time. Yeah, yeah I was. Oh, yeah, sorry. Rex, that's yeah. okay. You want, no, we my got brother. you the next time. That's okay. Yeah. All right, that's another episode of Road Driven. Okay, there you go. Bye.